and welcome to this edition of Two Talk. We're taking the show on the road again. Uh, this time, kind of move do something a little bit different. Headed out of District Two and down to South Cobb to District Four. And joining me today is Dale Ketzel, Park President for Six Flags Atlanta Properties, and Commissioner Lisa Cupid, the District Commissioner for District Four. And where we are is the site of the new Hurricane Harbor. And so, uh, Dale. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about this. This is kind of a exciting news for down here at Six Flags. Yes, it is. Uh, Commissioner Ock, Commissioner Cupid, welcome to the all-new Hurricane Harbor. We're going to be opening on May 23rd and uh, open Memorial Day weekend through the summer and for many, many years to come. And we're especially excited about making this investment here at Six Flags over Georgia because, as you both know, we've been so successful with Whitewater in Marietta and Six Flags Over Georgia is one of the great theme parks in North America. Well, when we talked to our guests, they told us we'd like more water. Well, of course, with the way the heat is in here in Georgia, more water would be a wonderful thing. That's right. And it also will balance out our experience here at Six Flags Over Georgia, make it a more full day experience. You can come and ride some world class rides, cool off a little bit during the day, go back out at night and experience the rides and hopefully have a meal on the way out. Now, Lisa, I know that you're excited about this because it brings more folks down to the district That's right. and you have the new epicenter and now with this addition, it's going to really kind of help revitalize the district. That's right. I want people to know that here you can have a lot of fun for the family. And now, Dale, there's a couple of new attractions here. I mean, we, you know, a lot of folks in East Cobb and District 2 are real familiar with Whitewater and Six Flags. But now, of course, you know, they might have heard about Hurricane Harbor but have no idea, you know, we are standing on top of Bonsai, Bonsai Pipelines. Bonsai Pipeline, you want to tell the folks a little bit about that? Sure. Bonsai Pipelines is three different slide complexes off of one tower. You'll get in two-person slides and have three different experiences every time you come up. On the other side of Hurricane Harbor is Tsunami Surge, which is going to feature an incredible zero-gravity drop preceded by a huge bowl feature that uh, will, will set you up for an incredible experience in four person tubes that we designed specifically for families to enjoy together. Wow. You know, uh, Lisa, that'd be perfect for you and us, it's me, right? With maybe for you, Bob. <laughs> I don't know about me. I know my, kid, my kids are a little bit older than yours, but uh, obviously a lot of fun. Now, for the not so adventurous at heart, or with smaller children, yes. you have um, the wave pool. Great, yes. Yeah, the, the centerpiece is going to be Calypso Bay, which is uh, an 800,000 gallon wave pool designed specifically with a large apron for lounging for uh, children of all ages and actually adults of all ages to be able to enjoy in a relaxed atmosphere. Uh, and it's also surrounded by a brand new restaurant, brand new changing facilities, new retail shops, luxurious landscaping just fits like a glove back here in this part of the now, park. Now I understand too that there's going to be cabanas that folks you know can initially sign up for and then um, ultimately be able to sign up online. You want to talk a little bit about the cabanas? Yes, we're going to have 11 cabanas which will uh, will feature every creature comfort that you could ever want and it make for an even more relaxing day. My suggestion would be though that when folks come out that they get here early and make their reservation because we think they're going to be pretty popular. Okay, now, standing right here behind us, this is probably a familiar site to the folks that have been here to Six Flags, but I understand it now has a new name. It does. It's uh, Paradise Island, and we've given it a makeover, and we've refurbed all the slides, we've, uh, we've painted the whole structure, uh, we've added some more seating on the perimeter, and at the front of it, which is actually the entrance to Hurricane Harbor, we've added a beautiful new 1,500 square foot retail shop which will still serve as the exit shop for Superman, but will allow people, if you forgot a bathing suit or a towel or sunscreen or sunglasses, you'll be able to get anything you would need to make your day here at Hurricane Harbor special. Okay, so now we talked a little bit about, I mean, as folks know, Six Flags and Whitewater, they're all, you know, kind of under the same roof. And we talked about how folks want more water, but I mean, this is a significant investment on, um, on Six Flags part. It is. It's the largest investment in any Six Flags park in 2014, and we're very proud of that. Coupled with the all-new Holiday in the Park, which opens November 22nd, uh, really uh, speaks to the commitment that Six Flags has to Cobb County and South Cobb in particular. And by the way, one of the reasons that we feel so good about that investment is the good work that Commissioner Cupid's been doing, the investment on the epicenter, and all that's going on all throughout Cobb County, uh, from the Braves to all of the uh, all the businesses moving here. Well, so now we talked about um, the holiday feature that's going to be added too, and then, so that's 
totally separate from the Hurricane Harbor. So let's talk a little bit about that because, as you mentioned, that kind of kind of give folks an opportunity to come here to Cobb County, not just down here, but also you know we have the new Braves Stadium and the mixed use development, and now they're going to have the opportunity to come down here and celebrate the holiday. Yes, the we we're now the uh, sixth Six Flags Park that will be investing in Holiday in the Park, and it's become a real magical part of our season. The park I came from over a year ago in California, we were a Holiday in the Park park. And to see families, extended families, from grandparents down to young children, you could just feel it becoming a family tradition year after year after year. So what are some of the things that folks will be able to do when they come here for the holidays? Well, when we did our research, it showed that our guests wanted two things. They want spectacular lights that they've never seen before, and they want to be able to ride our world-class rides with those lights as the backdrop. And we're going to provide that like no one has ever seen before. We're going to have Goliath open. We're going to have most of our big coasters open as well as our family areas. The train ride's going to be very special. And of course, the key to any successful holiday in the park event is paying off Santa. <laughs> uh, we're also going to have a, uh, a nativity scene that will be very, um, very close to this part of, uh, of our country and we're gonna do some real intimate features that you can only see here in Georgia. So one of the things that's gonna kinda of come out of all these things is you know, folks are used to, you know, with Memorial Day weekend and then the summer, that's when Six Flags open. So what's gonna happen now is there's gonna be stuff going on a whole lot more of the year than in the past. Well, it really started this past year with a, a renewed emphasis and investment in our Fright Fest program in the fall. Very successful. We're gonna make it even bigger and scarier again in 2014. Now we're extending our, our operating season through January 4th. And what that does is it really adds value to our pass holders. And by the way, pass holders, as part of your pass, you will get Holiday in the Park for free. Okay, so someone who gets a season pass now, instead of just having just the, you know, what they think of as the summer season, you're gonna be able to come all the way to the Holiday. That's right, and by the way, Hurricane Harbor is free with park admission in your season pass as well. Okay. So an incredible value message, and also, we wanted to, to do something that would really be the biggest and best holiday event here in, uh, in the state of Georgia, most particularly here in Cobb County. Keep them home. Well, I, I know my, myself and my family, my, I have a little bit on the kids, but I know that both Lisa and I are looking forward and excited to uh, seeing Hurricane Harbor open and also the new and exciting and revamped parts of Six Flags. So I want to thank you for uh, joining us today. And what we're going to do is we'll be right back, and Commissioner Cupin and I are going to kind of show you around the park. Six Flags Over Georgia introduces the largest expansion in park history with our all-new water park, Hurricane Harbor, included with theme park admission. Ride the surf in our giant wave pool. Plummet down an enclosed tunnel into a zero-gravity wave slide on the Tsunami Surge. Dare to take on three twisting, turning water slides on the Bonsai Pipelines. Plus, explore our giant interactive children's area. Hurricane Harbor, making landfall at Six Flags Over Georgia in 2014. Welcome back. We're now joined by Gene Petriello, who is a communications manager for Six Flags. And we've kind of moved around to the other side of the park now. Uh, we're at the front entrance. Now we talked a little bit about, I mean, folks are used to that on Memorial Day weekend, the park mm -hmm. opens for the season. Yep. But, and we say the season, but in actuality, um, you know, last year you started uh, Fright Fest, mm -hmm. right? And I think that goes from September 22nd to November 2nd? Yeah, this year it'll be September 27th to November 2nd. This okay, year. and new, as we heard um, on the first segment, is the Holiday Park. Absolutely, we're having Holiday Park, Holiday in the Park here at Six Flags Over Georgia this year. We're very excited about it. Looking we're here at our, yeah, we're here at our front entrance, and it's going to look completely different when we come around to the winter season. It's going to be a real magical experience for our families. Hundreds of trees, million, more than a million LED lights all over the place. It's really going to be an exciting experience and something that people in uh, Cobb County have never experienced before. And so now, when, when now we talk about Fright Fest, when does Holiday Park start? Holiday in the Park will start on November 22nd, and it'll run through January 4th of next year. Um, and if you have a season pass to Six Flags Over Georgia, you'll be able to come to Holiday in the Park for free, yeah, so which is season pass. I think it's really pass. important for people to know that if you have a season pass, yeah. you get to come for the entire summer season that they're used to. You can come for Fright Fest, right? And now Holiday in the Park. Absolutely. So it's really kind of almost a year-round um, 
um, season pass. It is right now. You know, if you go into the 2014 season, we're only going to be closed January and February every season going forward. Yeah, so that's that's a huge deal with the mm -hmm. season pass. Now, let's talk a little bit about for the folks that may not be familiar with Six Flags and Whitewater. Um, a lot of roller coasters. We do. We have 11 world-class roller coasters here at Six Flags Over Georgia. We have the family coasters, um, the, the Wild E Coyote Canyon Blaster and the Dahlonega Mine Train. But we also have the big giant, which is not too far away from where we are right now, Goliath, which is 20 stories high. And that's a roller coaster that's a real thrill roller coaster. But now, that's oh, not yes. one designed for little kids like you have. <laughs> True, but unfortunately, I learned about that experience personally. Oh, what would you think of it? Um, it was fast. <laughs> Intense. But now, but that now there are some roller coasters um, for families that have small children like uh, Commissioner Cooper. Absolutely. We have the Dahlonega Mine Train, which okay. is a great experience for families. We also have Very the cool. Wiley Coyote Canyon Blaster Coaster. And we also have several different rides in the park in Bugs Bunny World, which is basically suited for little kids to ride. So obviously little kids are not going to get onto Goliath. Uh, I'm a big kid and I don't get onto Goliath sometimes on certain days. Uh, so you, I'm in your boat with that one. Yes. Uh, but, you know, we do have experience uh, rides here for our little kids and for our families to enjoy. And uh, it's really exciting to see the kids and the families all experience. Yeah, I'm not so lucky here. with my son, he likes a coaster. Now, <laughs> we talked a lot about roller coasters, but there's a lot of other things besides roller coasters. We do. We're actually standing in our promenade, which is our front entrance, and we have numerous retail locations and, and also food locations from pizza to hamburgers. So basically, anything that you can imagine type of food, you can get them here at Six Flags Over Georgia. And we also have entertainment here. We have several live shows. We have the Looney Tunes characters that are going around the park all day. We also have the Crystal Pistol. And this year, we have a new show called Fighting Gravity, and it'll come back in July. And it basically defies the law of gravity. Um, tennis balls float in the air. Okay. Lights go down. It's a great experience, and we've gotten great reviews on that so far. So now when folks come in, even though we have the, uh, the new Hurricane Harbor, they're mm -hmm. going to come in this main entrance, and, and that's kind of behind us on the, the back side of the park um, by Paradise uh Paradise Island, Island. yeah. Right. If you're familiar with the park, um, where the Superman roller coaster is and the Great American Scream Machine, yes. Hurricane Harbor is going to be right in that area. So if you remember the Southern Star Amphitheater that was here, the historic Southern Star Amphitheater, Hurricane Harbor is exactly on that footprint. We've just built it out and made it a little bit bigger. Uh, so it's in the back corner of our park. So you'll be able to experience all of our rides, go cool off, and then come back into the park and experience right. the rides so like more. Right, so like we mentioned over at Hurricane Harbor, you know, a family can come here and if, if uh, the son wants to go on the roller coasters like in my uh, my family, <laughs> and uh, mom and daughter want to go to the beach. I mean, there's something for everybody to do. Absolutely, and that's the best part about our park. Um, families come in here, and we read a lot of family surveys that come back, and the one yeah. thing that they say is, we had a great time with our entire family at your park. And when we say, when we hear that type of stuff, that makes us feel good because we're providing a reprieve from whatever that family may be experiencing outside those gates. Mm -hmm. They get to come to our park, create new memories, and then they talk about it forever. And then the next family comes in, and we see their memories. And it's really exciting to be able to provide that opportunity 10 months out of the year now here at Six Flags Over Georgia. Right. And now I know we have some video of some of the roller coasters. So let's, uh, let's take a cut to the videos and show folks uh, some of the roller coasters around the park. So that uh, concludes this edition of Two Talk, and we'll see you again next time.
Each year, our children are put at risk by drivers who ignore bus stop arms and warning lights. In Cobb County alone, more than 1,000 drivers ignore them every day. The Cobb Police Department and Cobb Schools have partnered with Operation Stop Arm to educate drivers about the new law to save lives. Tragically, a young child was killed at a bus stop by a passing car in 2009. While we were being interviewed by the news crew, a driver ran through the stop arm of the bus. We had just installed new stop arm cameras on some of our buses and were able to hand the photo over to law enforcement. And now, with the new law, hopefully we will reduce violations of the stop arm law and have additional evidence to cite violators. Drivers who pass a school bus with a stop arm activated can receive up to a thousand dollar fine from the court and get six points tacked onto their driver's history. It is a serious offense. So next time you're in a hurry and you're tempted to pass a stop school bus, Stay The Cobb County Safety Village is the most comprehensive safety training environment in the region. Located in central Cobb County, the Safety Village aims to provide the highest quality of safety education available. Primarily designed for elementary age school children, the Safety Village provides hands-on life safety training. Education is the key to reducing risk and protecting our community and its residents, and the Cobb County Safety Village is the first in Georgia to offer this kind of learning experience. On the eight-acre site is a large multi-use education building which includes classrooms, a cafeteria, offices for employees, and an auditorium made to look like the historic Strand Theater in Marietta. There is also a station for inspecting car seat installation, a free service provided to the residents of the county by Safe Kids of Cobb County, which includes three mechanics bays that provide shelter from the elements as well as heat during the winter months as opposed to before when seat checks were done outside. After walking through the reception area, visitors are greeted with what looks like a small house. This is known as Sparky's House. In the hallway, which is made to look like a street, there is a replica of a telephone booth and a small tree. Sparky's House actually consists of a living room, bedroom, and kitchen, creating an incredibly memorable learning experience that mimics some life-threatening situations that children may face in their own homes. The front door of the house opens to what looks like a regular home on the inside. In Sparky's living room, children are taught about the three elements of fire, shown what objects around the house are more subject to catching on fire, and then the home fills with smoke from machines and steam heats the doorknob at the exit. Children must then maneuver, crawling across the floor to keep away from the smoke, and feel the door with the back of their hands to see if there is fire on the other side. The children then open the door and crawl outside to safety. When they are in Sparky's bedroom and the room fills with smoke, the children must then climb out the window with a safety ladder and meet up at the family's arranged meeting spot, the tree outside of the house. After these lessons, children participate in a simulated 911 call, complete with a live operator answering at the other end. Children are also given classes from police officers regarding topics ranging from what to do if approached by a stranger, what to do when you are home alone and hear a knock at the door, and what to do if they find a gun in the house. Interaction and participation by the children is highly encouraged and also provides for a better learning experience. The Safety Village's goal is exactly this, teach children in a unique and unforgettable way and make it as interactive as possible but do so in a manner that is controlled, supervised, and above all, safe for the students. The David Hankerson Education Building is only the first part of the children's experience. The Safety Village itself is a working village. The land has been paved like a small neighborhood and designed to look just like that, only on a reduced scale. The Safety Village is a child-sized representation of our county, complete with real trees, scaled down operative buildings with signage, small street signs and traffic lights, and even model homes. Site elements used throughout the village reference those found around the Marietta Square to help give the scene a recognizable and authentic look. The site features four distinct areas, which are the Marietta Square, a commercial district, a residential district, and an industrial district. Since it has opened, the Cobb County Safety Village has improved the fire department's efficiency in training students by 200%. Twice as many students have been able to take part in this safety training than last year before the Safety Village opened. It is easier and requires less manpower to have a centralized location which helps to reduce scheduling conflicts. Before, when second and fourth graders participated in their state-mandated fire safety program, 
a fire truck with a trailer, housing a far less advanced scenario similar to Sparky's house, would have to travel out to each school individually and could only handle one small group of students at a time. The Cobb County Safety Village allowed them to build a more complex scenario which teaches the children more effectively and they have room for multiple classes at one time. Children will benefit greatly from the knowledge that they will encounter through observation and participation. Learning is essential to a child's mind and taking part in the process is crucial. The philosophy is simple. Tell me and I will forget. Show me and I may remember. Involve me and I will understand. Complete the surrender, if you would, please. You're giving up all rights to the dog. Are you okay with this? Every year, in Metro Atlanta alone, nearly 90,000 unwanted animals are put to death. It is epidemic and unnecessary. The problem can be fixed. Spay and neuter your animals. The time to act is now. Stop the needless killing. Please help us. www.mostlymutts.org
Getting closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. Get your child healthy. So keep them active and eating well every day. Skip a rope Saturday, freeze tag Friday, tap dance Thursday, home games Wednesday, try a veggie Tuesday. Let's move Monday, split the sweet Sunday. Eat well and move a lot. Today is Hot. Saturday. Yeah. Today is Saturday. All the healthy children, all the healthy children. Get ideas. Get involved. Get going at letsmove.gov. That's let's move.gov. Same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Every child is curious. George, look what I found. Turn their curiosity into a lifelong love of learning. Create a curious reader. This is super bedtime reading. Share a book together today. Visit read.gov.